So MW3 is around the corner. And you got a day or two to set up your PC. And if you want to run the game with no issues at the fastest FPS, the smoothest FPS, the best graphics, you're going to need some tools here. So if you're an NVIDIA user only, this is the tutorial for you. So first to start it off, we're going to need an NVIDIA graphics driver. And I'll have the link in the description for this page. And once you get here, all this should be different. So make sure you know what your GPU is. So the majority is going to be using a GeForce graphics card. So see if you're using 30 or 40 series. And if you're using a laptop, make sure it says notebook. If you're using desktop, you should just you should be fine with 40 series desktop. Now, my model is a 4090, which I'm sure of. So make sure if you're using a 4060, get a 4060, you have a 4070, 4070, 3060. So that should be self-explanatory. And go by the operating system you're using. I'm using Windows 11, and I'm going with the game ready driver, and I'm gonna search for one. So almost 700 megabyte download. I'm going to download that, and I'm gonna save everything into one folder. So create your folder. You can call it um, video card stuff, or graphics card stuff, or whatever you want, and save this in there. So the next thing we're gonna to need to download is DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller. You're gonna to wanna to click on USA and wait for it to pop up and you should save it, you know, wherever. Your desktop, you know, if you wanna be in a folder, um, with your graphics card uh, driver you just installed, grab that. Now we're gonna need NV Clean. And I'll also have the link for both um, installs in, in the description. The purpose of this is to debloat your driver. So we're going to properly uninstall the current one and we're going to debloat the new one. So you're going to get the most performance, the most FPS, and the best MW3 experience you can possibly want. So we're going to click on one of these. If they don't load, go with the next. Then click the load. So I'm going to hit the next and there's the download. So save all these things and we get back to the video and we're going to show you what to do with them. Okay, easiest method to go into safe mode. Grab your keyboard, hold down the shift key, and go to start and hit restart while holding down the shift key. Once you get into safe mode, you want to hit troubleshoot, reset PC, or see advanced options. Then you want to hit advanced options. Then you want to hit startup settings. Then you want to click restart. So you're going to want to hit enable safe mode, the, the number four button on your keyboard. Once you get into safe mode, you want to launch GPU. You want to select device type GPU. Make sure you have um, for the manufacturer NVIDIA and you want to hit clean and restart highly recommended. It's a one click fix. So all you got to do is run that. You should restart and you should be right back into Windows. So once you get into Windows, follow me for the next step and I'm going to uninstall my driver. It should take 2-3 minutes tops and you should restart automatically. So pretty easy step. So once you get back into Windows, you're going to launch the application and the clean install. You're going to put a check mark in here, use driver file on disk, on disk, not on desk. I still can't talk, and I'm still, and I still have to use my phone to record, but I can't report in Windows while I'm doing this. So, hit browse, find the driver you saved into the folder. Once you select your driver, you're going to want to hit next. Okay, so recommend that you're going to need the display driver. If you're on laptop, you may need HD audio via, via HDMI. So if you're on laptop, check this. Some laptops might not need it, some do. So, to be safe for a laptop, hit this. And then you're gonna to wanna to hit next, and it's gonna be progress bar has finished, and you're gonna to wanna to use these settings. Disable installer telemetry advertising. Unintended express installation. Allow automatic reboot if needed. Perform a clean install. Enable the LSS indicator. Show expert tweaks. So, you really don't wanna mess with any of this stuff. And this is the safest setting to use. So now you're going to want to hit install. So basically, you're finished 
with your driver. This is all going to install on its own. This is going to give you the best performance, a deloaded driver, a clean install. You're going to have no errors, no conflicts with old files. So this is going to do all the work and for the end of the video I'm going to show you the best NVIDIA control panel settings. So this is basically how the proper way of installing the driver, debloating it and getting the best maximum performance out of the driver. And if you've used uh, GeForce Experience, you're probably going to have to redownload it manually if you use GeForce Experience. I recommend not to, I would take the performance boost over GeForce Experience and if you want to record your games and stuff, use um, OBS Studios. Okay, now we're in Manage 3D Settings and I'm going to show you the best settings you want to use for your NVIDIA control panel. Okay, so you have Image Scaling you want off, Ambient Inclusion off, Anastropic Filtering off, Anti-Aliasing FXAA off, Anti-Aliasing Gamma Correction off, anti-aliasing mode off. These two will be none and grayed out. Background application max refresh, max frame refresh rate, whatever. Cuda cores all. This is a new setting I haven't heard of, so I have no idea what to do with that. The SR factors off. The SR smoothness that's gonna be grayed out. So low latency mode, you're gonna to wanna to put on. Some people like to use Ultra. A lot of people say Ultra does more harm than good. So you want to experiment with both settings, I recommend on. Um, so they, some um, recommend um, Ultra Plus Boost. So monitor refresh rate. I use fixed refresh rate versus G-Sync. I think G-Sync does more harm for competitive SPS games versus um, immersive story games. So I don't need G-Sync because I don't get screen tearing because I have a, <clears throat> sorry about that, 240 hertz monitor and most of the times with a 4090, I can get close to that number or I could push 240 or close to that number so I really don't need it. Okay, open GL rendering of uh, GPU, you can just put that to your graphics card which mine is the 4090. Power management, a lot of people say to use normal versus max performance because you're just going to be um, wasting performance in menus and you'll be playing at max performance when you're actually gaming not just in menus or in a lobby or something so preferred refresh rate you want to do the highest available that's going to get you your full 240 refresh rate if you have 165 hertz monitor you'll have that you know 120 hertz 360 hertz you're gonna get the highest refresh rate so shader cache size i like to use 100 gigs so you don't have to constantly um reload shaders i believe that's what it does so anastropping uh, texture filter anastropic sampling sample i don't know what the rest of it is let's see optimization yeah leave on so texture filtering Anastrophic sample optimization on. That is a mouthful. Okay, so texture filtering negative LOD bias allow. Texture filtering quality. You want to switch quality to performance. Some people say to use high performance, you can try both settings, but they say the best, um, the most performance you get is just plain performance. So texture filtering, trill linear optimization, probably for nothing wrong on. Credit optimizations, auto. Uh, you could put that on. I don't think it's gonna hurt or make a difference. And virtual sync. You do not want this. You want this off. So these are the best settings for an NVIDIA control panel. So that is the NVIDIA control panel um, tutorial. And we're pretty much done here. So subscribe to my channel, subscribe to my Twitter, which is all David Plays x 89 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope this guy, I hope this guide helped you guys out. And I'm sorry about me losing my voice. I probably had pneumonia. But it is what it is. So catch you guys on the next one and hit apply. Reboot your computer and you are ready to game and ready for MW3. I'm out of here.